we've sports action now, and it's the best ringside seats with the compliments of Central. So settle back and enjoy the best in wrestling. Welcome to war. And Jackie, what have you got lined up for us on this show? We have got a super show. I've got Iron Fist, the world arm wrestling champion, and karate expert, and martial arts. We have two tags, and in one of those tags, we've got the fabulous Gibb Brothers. Oh, the Gibb Brothers, they are definitely the heartthrobs, and I know they're causing quite a stir amongst you lady fans out there. Now let's get down to the ring and see them. Gentlemen, welcome to war, a new era of wrestling. My name is Sarah, and I will be here to present to you this spectacular new series. So without further ado, let me introduce you to your master of ceremonies for this evening, Mr. George Saunders. Ladies and gentlemen, World Alliance Wrestling is war. Coming in now to the red corner, your welcome please for young Apollo. Brett Sinclair with you again, wrestling fans, and Jackie Mr. TV Palo alongside. Good welcome evening. again, Jackie. Good evening, dear. I understand you've got some great action again lined up for us tonight. We have, we have. You've seen this lad before, but he is terrific. This is young Apollo. Yeah. He's another boy that's got a great future. He's a nice guy. He's shaking hands with the referee. You don't see that these days. I don't think this guy will ever shake hands with the referee. I Mega don't... Mouth Vincent. I doubt whether the referee would want to shake hands with him. He's coming out with Sledgehammer. It looks like they've actually got rid of the Iceman, as we saw. Coming in on a one-to-one -one match with Young Apollo. Powerful boy, though. I wonder why these guys all get themselves tattooed up. called him Bouncer. He's always bouncing about. Is he directing the film crew again? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see how Sledgehammer goes just on his own, without his tag partner. That's right, they sacked him, didn't they? <laughs> yes, indeed. I think we'll be replaced with along very shortly. They do do some talking, these two, don't they? They tell the referee, the cameras, what they want done. No one takes any notice. But... Oh, nice. Nice arm, arm old yeah. Yeah. Straight arm. Nice. 
Very neat for a ball. Yeah, eh? very neat. Flick up and a wrist lock out. Let's snatch. Yeah. Satama so actually seems to be pulling some resting holes on for a change. Yeah. Oh, just as I say that, he rakes him in the eyes. Spoke too soon. I've seen him wrestle, he can wrestle. Yeah, but he tends to go for the more barbaric tactics. There yeah. we are, the back elbows. Well, that knocks him out quicker, doesn't it? It tires the man very quickly. Close line to the chest. If you've got powerful arms, you might as well use them. Oh, good leg snap for Apollo. No. I know the crowd want him to, but it's just not done. Did someone knock Mega Mouth Vincent's hat off or did it fall off? I hope someone knocked it off. It is, the camera's missed it. Leg stretch. Oh! I think the hammer's too keen on that move. See, drag him up. Fist to the stomach. Hit. Knees to the head there. Sledgehammer, I believe, is a weightlifting champion at his weight of yeah. Southern England. Really? Yeah, powerlifting champion. Yeah. Powerful boy. You see where he just threw Apollo back in one hand and drags him out again like a rag doll. Well, they agreed to go in with these men, you know. Well, he's a tough competitor, Apollo. Just yeah. the competition, just too good. That was the manager's foot. You set very high standards for war competitors, Jackie. Yeah. I want to see more wrestling come into it. Yeah. Bruce Trent threw out for a while, but... Oh, fist again. So Dan was not having it all his own way in this contest. No, he's not. Now he's choking him over the ropes. Yeah. Cutting his hair off. mega mouth. What is he up to? Catapulting him back off those ropes. Side headlock with that stage. Yeah. yeah. So the fingers across the eyes, actually. Not in the eyes, across the eyes. Good Backdrop. Head kick, head. Kick him with the heel. He's still well on top of that camera in this contest. Well. Oh. Got to go outside for a break. Yeah. Yeah. Apollo's gone after him. 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 Mega Mouth Vincent won't like that at all. Oh, he just you in the face. <laughs> head butted Mega Mouth Vincent. I like it. Oh, oh, Teach him to keep interfering. Oh, never, never go for something and and leave and leave it. You got yourself out for the kiss, yeah. didn't you? If you're gonna take it, take it. You hesitate, you come unstuck. Slams him into the corner post. And again. Oh, what's his power slam? That's a power slam. Jars the body. He could have pinned in there, Sledgeham, but he seems to be making him no, suffer a little. Oh, oh, Boston grab. I think that's it. So don't get out of yes. the Boston Crab, particularly a sledgehammer puts it on. A lot of power in the upper body. He doesn't want to no, he it either. He should pull him off, though. I mean, the man submitted. He should have pulled him off. Well, he's just making sure he doesn't want to come back in there with him. Sledgehammer's got his eye on that gold belt as well. See what? With American rules, you can't disqualify him for that. No. Nope. There we go. 
Do the slow motion now, the power of that boss and crab. Tender. So he sits right back right and back. puts tension on the back and the knee joints. Virtually impossible to get out from. We are Thunder. We are European Tag Team Champions. We have come to the WAW to take the World Tag Team Championship. We cannot be stopped. Bulldog, we are the ultimate tag team. No one can touch us. We will take on all comers. Anyone who thinks they can take us, just come forward! Yeah! Well, Jackie, Thunder, tag team, European tag champions. They are good. They are certainly good. Need to be going against these two, the German assassins. It's yeah. a big man, isn't it? Yeah. I saw him in Austria a few months ago. Very good competitor. And I think Thunder seemed extremely confident. Yeah, I've seen Thunder two or three times. I regards for They're after the World Tag Team Championships, currently held by the Barbarians. That's what they're after. Now let's see how we do. Tag team action at war. See what it is, these guys are so new, the public don't know them yet. And they don't respond as much as you think they should. I'm not sure what they're going to get, are they? I mean, no, it's a they're total just new format for wrestling. wrestling and they, they don't... Terrific <laughs> clothesline by the Bulldog. Yeah. Up from the knee up as well. Oh, cross buttock. He tried to twist out of that and couldn't. But they both went for the clothesline there. Yeah. And Bulldog came off bets, yes, again. Now she should never repeat yourself as he did. The Bulldog repeat himself and just the chap knows what he's going to do next. Yeah, just too much. Yeah. I always thought said do it twice and that's enough he is big this other yeah, assassin big, isn't he man. he must be 275 pounds this guy get them big arms in your back you know you've got them got back out the ring and the other tag partner hasn't come in. Thunder stamping, he wants one of them to come in. No, nope, neither of them want to come back in. No, but the referee's counting them, insisting they come in. Yeah, well, they've only got a count of 20 out there. Yeah. Uh, the smaller ones come in. I can hear Thunder saying he wants the big one. The little one ain't doing so bad, is he? Yeah. Mind you, lose the definition of the little one. The little one is about 270 pounds. <laughs> Just get this in proportion here. <laughs> oh, good power slam off the ropes. And he right. kicked out from it. Yeah, very good. Very good. I don't normally kick out from those kind of slams from the Bulldog. from the assassin he's a big man he makes the other guy look small but he's not is he? I know now he's opened up the right hand of the bulldog on the assassin he's tagged to his other partner Bowley's in next snap. drop oh good leg drop that's Captain windy the thunder tag team is going to town now Holds him back into the corner and he yeah. knocks our cameraman off the ring. Well, the big guy's hesitant to come in now. Uh, he's got to come in, that one's going out. Oh, oh. 
they will turn their backs. Big mistake there, Brody, turning your back on a guy like the Assassin. Too powerful to give him anyway. Mm, he had his foot up there. I think the whole ring just moved across the floor when he hit that post. Powerful kick to the chest by Bearcat Brody. Brody keeps calling his partner in. Oh, he's got in mind. Back elbow. He sit top of the big guy over. Yeah. Ah, now I say they want you want him in to help him throw him across the rope. That's why he's holding him, him in. both together. Double clothesline. Oh, good drop elbow with a bulldog. Yeah. And a leg drop by the Bowling. captain of Thunder. Bulldog's going for the pin. Yes, 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 yes. See, he stepped out. He couldn't count while he was in there. Yeah. He's got the pin. A win for Thunder. Bearcat Brody and the Bulldog. Ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes and 55 seconds, with the only ball required, the winner is Thunder. So you imagine the weight dropping down on that elbow, enough to stove in someone's chest and ribs. And then Thunder goes round the other side and drops his leg in across the guy's chin. Oh. And then Bulldog comes in, hooks the leg for a pin. Good, great tag match. Breakfast, sir. Just leave it outside. Hmm. Kellogg's crunchy nut oh. cornflakes. Delicious golden flakes of corn encrusted with honey, nuts, and brown sugar, which makes them quite the most irresistible breakfast imaginable. Ah. Kellogg's crunchy nut cornflakes. The trouble is they taste too good. That makes a refreshing change. Woodpecker, what a refreshing change! You plant these seeds half an inch apart, then lightly cover them. Hey! I want to introduce you to a friend of mine called Gerald. Gerald is going to help us read out the cards this morning. You never can tell where it's gonna go next. It's crazy! It's the Yuppie Ball, and it's one pound with any chicken purchase. Only from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Wrigley Spearmint, it's the one. Cool French taste, share it with someone. To mint it cool, through and through it. Tastes so great, you'll just love to chew it. Wrigley Spearmint gum, you'll just love to chew it. Tastes so great, you'll just love to chew it. Have some fun. Call 0898 323232 and talk to some new people now. That's 0898 323232. Are you using a separate fabric softener and detergent to get your clothes clean and soft? Are you spending more than you need? Stop. Nowadays, the smart money goes on bold all in one. You get the cleaning power of your detergent and quality softness without a separate softener. And it doesn't cost as much as these two. So why buy two? Just buy one. Bold, all in one. It's where the smart money goes. The most noble site in England and fairest monument of ancient and chivalrous splendor. Warwick Castle, the finest medieval castle in England. expert, the sensational Iron Fist versus Jimmy West. The Starlight Express, the Gibb Brothers versus Hardman Hyde and Sergeant Pepper. Hello, I'm Sarah. Here with me, I've got the world's arm wrestling champion. He is also the world's middleweight wrestling champion. He is, of course, 
Iron Fist. That's right, the fist. War is the word. Twenty years experience, arm wrestling, wrestling, and martial arts. And I'm here today to prove again that I'm the most devastating wrestler throughout the world. And anyone they put in my, in front of me, I'll destroy them. Period. That is it. The fist is here to stand. I'm this. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Vision's martial arts expert, Iron Fist. Well, Jackie, what can we say about Iron Fist? Well, not a lot. It's all been said. He is superb, isn't yeah. he? Glow trotting martial arts expert, world arm wrestling champion at his weight. He was in the movie with Sylvester Stallone over the top. He was advisor on that. A great, great wrestler. That's One of the true stars of Come to War. Super guy, actually. Great performer. If he set his eyes on those Lord Britannia gold belt, it's going to take some real tough competition to stop him getting them. This is, this is Mickey West, no? Yes, yes. He comes from uh, the Medway town, by the way. Yeah, no, this is Jimmy West. Oh, Jimmy There's West. There's two brothers. This That's is Jimmy. Right. This is Jimmy. See, Iron Fist is in the same weight category as Mad Dog Dave George, Dapper Dino Scarlo, and uh, a name you might find familiar, J.J. Paolo. Yeah, he, he'd have his hands full. Yeah, they all will. They're yeah. all after that Britannia gold belt. Let's uh... see how he does here with Jimmy West. Very fit, Brian. Oop! That kick is so quick, you barely yeah. see his leg move. Side head lock by Jimmy West on Iron Fist. Hurled off by Iron Fist. Oh, good shoulder block takes Jimmy West right to the floor. Oh! Heard that kick from here. Karate kick to the chin. Doesn't he get up on those kicks? He gets amazing height, doesn't he? He does, he does an edge scissors, you know. But flying edge scissors? Yeah. I hope he does one tonight. He gets right up and puts his, his both his feet around the man's head and spins him over. Incredible. Look at all of his ears at the moment. Yeah. Well, that's a stupid thing to do, isn't it? I'd never hit his head. No. That would have been a fist. Oh! Marked his back there, did you see that? Yeah. Did he he's set going up for a suplex? Yeah, he's going up now, look. Oh! No bother. Is he going to get up from that? Getting up very slowly. Yeah, I'm not surprised after that. You certainly are bringing some amazing athletes to war, Jackie, I must yeah. admit. This guy, probably one of the fittest men in Britain, I would think, in the wrestling business. He has an incredible mixture, doesn't he? He can do martial arts, karate, wrestling. And he can rough it up with anybody. Front edge chantry. That's it. Reverse very oh, neat. Very neatly done. The other man had the hold on and he just done... Oh, flying head mare. Don't see too many of those these days. Not done with that skill, I must admit. He had a great amateur wrestling background as well, yeah. didn't he, Iron Fist? Yeah. Oh. Two chops to the side of the face. I think that's the only hole Jimmy West has got on Iron Fist so far, and he wasn't in it for more than three seconds. No. Tackle coming. No. Oh. Oh. Picked him up and dropped her across his knee. Atomic drop. Got a smile on his face, Iron Fist. Well, he is rather dominating this bout, isn't he? Yes, he is, actually. A oh, leg snatch. The other boy's out. Single class. leg Boston Crab. That's it. That's it, all over. All over. Once that's on, it's on. 
Superb performance by Iron Fist. And your audience enjoyed it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes and 30 seconds, uh, the winner by the only submission required, the division's Iron Fist. Superb athlete. Look at this Tommy drop. A tag competition. Uh, no rounds, no holds, no time limit. One fall, one submission, or knockout to decide. Now coming into the ring and into the red corner, please welcome Sergeant Pepper and Kurt Hine. <laughs> PJ Bradley again. Yeah. He certainly is bringing some men to this competition. Yeah, a lot of men in his stables. Yeah. This is Hines and Sergeant Pepper. I haven't seen this Sergeant Pepper. That's a strange combination, isn't yeah. it? Uh, hard man Hines been around for a while, and a grappler. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, their opponents this evening, uh, the Starlight Express, the fabulous Kid Brothers. Does you know that the public have written in to see these boys again? I know. Terrific. I mean, they've impact, the impact they've had in the first couple of shows is amazing. Well, they're great looking guys, great performers, and they really are going through the competition extremely well at the moment. The fans love them, as you can see, yeah. from little children up to the teenagers and the mums. That's something I like, the, the teenagers and the young children are coming to these shows. Well, it's a new, exciting arena for them. Wrestling for the 90s, Jackie. Yeah. And these are certainly the superstars of the 90s, the Starlight Express. What's my saying? I don't know, I wouldn't like to repeat it. No. They <laughs> certainly got a hard battle on their case tonight with these yeah. two. It's a bad enough in Sergeant Pepper and Hines, but you've also got to keep watching out for Bradley. Yes, that's... There'd be three of them in the ring, wouldn't it, virtually? He's in there already. It's one yeah. that he hasn't snatched the mic from the MC yet. He only really likes the sound of his own voice. Well, the bell's gone. I can com com commence. Because remember, it's American rules. And no holds barred. Gary Grip in there first. Slightly unorthodox arm roll, but it's yeah. not effective enough. He's, he's a bit cack handed, I think. Yeah. Oh! Yes. Here comes Hardman oh. Hines, straight in with the onslaught. Yeah. Elbows. Nice roll up by Gary Gibb. He should have done to move out the way a bit quicker. You get these old pros in there, they know how to, how to steam into you. Nice shot, oh, two nice, nice shot for Gary Gibb. Oh. Nice shot to the back of the head. Close, Close line, line to uh, Hines. Right in by the ears. We well, can't grab him by the ear, can he? Not very well, no. Mick McManus used to hate being cool with the ears, didn't he? He tested it. Because everyone's got their vulnerable point. Yeah. Oh, leg drop on the arm. They well, went in, didn't it? Yeah, good tight up a little low on the chest, but it still has the same effect. A bit unorthodox, but... Uh... See, he hesitated then. And to give the boy a chance to get up. Oh, nice drop kick. I think Pepper's too happy at the moment. Oh, badly is that ravaging off down there. He's, been, uh, he's going to be quiet at the moment. Oh, I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon now. I could hear his voice. I thought it might be up to something. They've adapted a lot of these arm drops, haven't they? Yeah. Not many forearm smashes at all. Closed lines they brought in. That's close but Yeah. More of a throw than a buttock, but it was. 
They've got a complete mixture to choose from. You've got yeah. these, say, international rules. You've got a catch as catch can, Cumberland wrestling. And at war, anything goes. No holds barred. I think uh, Kine's got to be quicker than that to catch Gary. Bradley's moaning again, telling the referee off, he's telling his wrestlers off. Ashley is a very good referee, but he's out the way all the time. He's there, but he's not in the way. I tell you what, this Hines is giving this Gibbs boy some stick. Oh, the first step, but no, he's got him still on top. He's punched him in the stomach. Into the post. He's really slamming him into those posts, post, isn't he? Yeah. Now, there's a bit of pad in there. Oh, that's nice. Took Very a bump good throw yeah, from Gary yeah. Gibbs. Didn't give him time to get stretched up in the air, did he? Didn't Knee quite to the catch him. Yeah, but he didn't catch him right. So I go in the gym with these two boys occasionally. He's good got the leg. Yeah. Must yeah. Look at his back. Leg. Have you seen the marks on his back? Yeah. He won't forget this one, Larry, will he, Gary no. Gibbs? No, he went through it a bit there. Oh, he's sulking. Well, he's right bound to. I've got the crowd. They really love the Starlight yeah. Express, and Gary and Andy Gibbs. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Pepper and Kurt Hines. Oh, that's it. <laughs> He slammed his manager. Hines obviously not very happy. Oh. I don't think he's very happy either. I think he certainly sacked them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they sacked him. Finished. Yes, let's see this so much. That was wonderful, that throw from that second rope by Gary Gibbs. Terrific throw. Good evening. What a pleasure it is for you to be casting your little peepers upon me. I have travelled the four corners of this earth to try and find me blood, unlike other managers and promoters. What have helped me find new blood I have here for you. Colossus, standing at six foot eleven, weighing three hundred and twenty-two pounds, he's here to destroy anything that gets in the ring with him. He's going to do it. So sit back and watch the great, huge Colossus. Take that camera away, now, little man. You're tiring me. Go away. And now we have a two versus one contest, ladies and gentlemen. Two versus one this time. One ball, one submission or knockout, no down, no hold, no time limit. And coming into the ring first, Rocky James and the Sizzler. So Jack, you're two versus one. Well, he's such a big band, isn't he? You need two for him. Yeah, Sizzler's a great competitor and Rocky James. Two good athletes. Let's just see how good this uh, Colossus is. Well, he's big, that we know. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, their opponent this evening, uh, the great man himself, let's have a nice big welcome for Colossus. I think that speaks for itself, eh? Colossus, doesn't it, Just? He's got the mouth with him, I see. You think he was the star the way he's walking there? He thinks he is. Yeah. Mind you, he's bringing some incredible talent to war. Yeah, certainly is. What is this guy, Jackie? Seven feet? I oh, believe he's around seven foot, yes. And that's a big man, isn't it, Just? Wouldn't the Americans like to get hold of him? Have to come to Mega Mouth Vincent for that. Yeah. I know a lot of English promoters are trying to book him. Have to get in the queue. Yep. That's a 
big man, isn't it? Yeah. And he's standing on the floor on the top of his head over the top rope. Oh. Yeah. Look. These two are eager to get him into the ring. I know I wouldn't be. You know, there's two of them. They're game, aren't they? Let's face it, they're game. They know the size of the man. They've heard of his reputation. Well, they're, they're great competitors. Yeah. We'll have a go. Obviously not a great favourite with the crowds. They hate him instantly. Anything to do with Mega Mouth Vincent has got to be bad news. Shane, shut your mouth for fear of you. If I was him, I'd be saving my energy for this uh, Colossus. You know, and he's, not, he, he's slim too. He's not fat, is he? No, he's a well-built athlete. Yeah. Big, powerful man. Yeah, let's see how we do. Head butts, forearms, oh, kicks. kicks. They're not having much effect, <laughs> are they, at all? He's not even moving. Oh, in the brick wall. <laughs> Bang. Oh, just slammed the girl like a couple of rag dolls. <laughs> slammed them on top of each other, then laid on top. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? This yeah. colossus is really something else. We've got to get someone big for him. Pins two men in a few seconds. I think he's just disposing of them out the ring. There goes one. Ladies and, and goes gentlemen, the other. after 53 seconds, the winner, the great Colossus. I told you, I told you, didn't I? I agree. Well, we're going to be seeing more of him at war, I'm sure. sure. Ultimate wrestler, Colossus. There's not a bag. There's nothing in the world can now beat Colossus. Nobody. Coming next at war, the Samurai Warrior versus Dave Daring. The World Tag Team Champions, the Barbarians, versus the Monk and Wayne Martin. It's a fact that nine out of 10 people still aren't eating enough fiber. So it's worth knowing that in every bowl of Kellogg's All Bran, there's about as much fiber as you'd find in nine nutritious slices of brown bread. Kellogg's All Bran, a great fiber provider. There's nothing half-hearted about Italian style or the Italians that admire it. That's why they prefer the full, rich flavor of Cafe Haag. Europe's favorite decaffeinated coffee. There's nothing half-hearted about Café Haag. It's the taste that makes it Europe's favorite decaffeinated coffee. Every bike that leaves Halfords, whether it's 40 or 800 pounds, is inspected by a trained cycle specialist. Then to see if it needs any slight readjustments, we'll even inspect it again or fit accessories. All you need to do is bring it back. Thank Halfords for that. And Carrera bikes range and fluorescent cycle accessories and Shimano equipped bikes and cycle... People are getting to know each other the party line way. Call 0898 444 and join in the fun. That's 0898 444 Hmm. Novelist. Banker. 
Labeur. Mm -hmm. Selected half price frames, half price, including designer frames, at Dolland and Aitchison and Island Express. Film producer. Comedian. Half price, but full effect. Rain and your car, equipped to cope, whatever the road. You know what to do. Slow down, brake gently. But what about him? Like you, he knows what to do. But though manholes and other obstacles present less of a problem to you, to a bike rider, they can be real hazards. To manoeuvre safely on a wet road, a bike needs room. In the wet, give motorbikes a chance. Give them room. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, his opponent this evening, uh, the Samurai Warrior. That was Dave Daring, I presume, right? Yeah, it was Dave Daring. This is one of the many colourful masked wrestlers we have coming to war, the Samurai Warrior. Dressed in the uh, kendo yes. outfit. This is a kendo outfit. Certainly I'll bring a strange mixture of wrestlers to war. Well, that's the idea. We want to sh give the public as much entertainment as well as possible. And you'll certainly attract men from all over the world. Yeah. Tag teams. Six-man tags. This guy is really uh, unusual. He takes his time. Tomorrow will do. It's all part of the psychological approach, isn't yeah, it? To course. psych out your opponent. Yeah. Well, the bell's gone for the beginning of the match. Yeah, he's got a, now he's got undress. Well, he takes all that off. I see he's got a samurai sword in his hand. That's yeah, going. That's going. And the gloves. Oh, I see. This is all the uh, winding up his opponent. Yeah, and the audience, it sounds like. Now the head the mask. Here comes the stomp. There, wants some action. They're not going to rush him, though, by the looks of it. He's going to be ready when he's ready. Dave so Derry just standing there saying, well, what's happening? Now the cloak. Is there much more to come off of this guy? There he's got this protection. On oh, the breastplate. Breastplate. But this is all part of it. He's uneasing his opponent. He's uneasing me. I'm just sitting watching. Oh, he's got his own belly. Got the referee to undo him. Now that long skirt. Anything else? And that belt. It must take him a week to get all this stuff on before he comes out. Right. Oh, he's going to wrestle. I believe he's ready. Amazing. I think he's waiting for the bell, not realising it must have gone a week ago. Locks up, collar and elbow. Chile, American rules, you count when they're on the ropes. Irish whip. I haven't seen one of those for a few years. Yeah. Big men. Try to get a buttock and his arm locked him up. Throat <laughs> chop, open fingers. I suppose a samurai warrior mixes the oriental style as well. Yeah. I know his reputation is expensive for me in Japan.